Why don't you start us off, babe? All right. Oh. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is episode nine. Oh, zigzag, babe. All right. We're going to be getting into some great experiences in this episode. We want to welcome you back and thank you for coming back. We are always excited for each and every episode. We love to see you guys' responses of episode that comes out. And um, I, let's, let's not just forget, jump right into it. Let's not forget to introduce ourselves. Oh, yes. I always forget, dear. <laughs> yes. And I am I'm Katie. Cody. Oh, oh, my, my God. <laughs> this is why it's annoying to live in our household. Why it's, is it annoying? Why? Because we can't go fucking two sentences without saying the same thing to each other. Well, it's okay. Can we kind of share the same brain? We haven't left I'm, each other's side in five years. I'm Cody. And I'm Katie. And this is another episode of You, Me, and Sworn. All right. And so today, oh, well, let's talk about a little bit about our week. Oh, so yeah. this week we has been kind of intense and busy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the weeks have kind of just been blurring into each other. It's been so busy, bit. in fact, that we haven't had any time at all to meet up with any couples. So we this have, is usually the part where we would tell you guys about that stuff. But unfortunately, we haven't met a couple in probably about a month or two, huh? Yeah, sadly, we have a lot of great couples that we're honestly talking to and um, we are appreciating their patience with us. <laughs> yes, people don't have patience and don't stick around, but that's all right it is what it is. But we are having a lot of people that we are going to meet up with and hopefully we could um, uh, share with you guys all that experience because it's going to be great once we actually do have the time. <laughs> yes, honestly, these weeks have just been bleeding into each other. Like I honestly woke up for the past few days thinking it was still march like 14th or something yeah no and i've been <laughs> these weeks have just been running into each other because well, it's the success been, of well, it's band. been well it's not full success yet but it's getting success it's the but uphill. yeah we're going uphill but it's just these shows every week after week it's kind of just been very repetitive you know it's been like well, it's been so much that i we haven't been able to focus on the single that we want to yeah but it, it's really getting your guys's name out there it is, you always got it a is. super fan it is which us. was really great to see you guys got to play in a new town you guys have never been in at a skate park that was freaking crazy yeah I just got done playing in Safford. that was fun it was a really fun show like honestly i appreciate it all i appreciate everybody and i appreciate all it's been giving it's just you know along with this the podcast it, it gets hard but it's a i sum. love doing it i love doing it in the end of the day like it doesn't bother me i'm just like i'm just getting tired though like my eyes my eyes are squinting. Are you a little tired? tired. <laughs> Not tired now. Let's get into the podcast. Oh, yeah. But um, even though that we are pretty busy, we're still going to get videos out to you guys because yes. we have so many ideas. That is one of the reasons we've been so busy, too. We've been working on getting you guys the new um, tattoo video. Tattoo tour, yeah. Uh, we're kind of waiting for these new tattoos to heal so we can give you an update and then the video will be done. A little crusty right now. Yeah, a little crusty and peely. <laughs> well, like a lemon... A banana would have been, been a better analogy, honey. You're right. <laughs> Anyways, let's get... Okay. We have that video coming. We just finished uh -huh. vlogging the week tour of the our two biggest shows that we've had. Oh, yeah. That um, was fun. So that one will be after the tattoo one. So we got them coming up. Don't worry, guys. Starring his band and his sister. Yes. Um so let's just jump right into it you know right. about our patreon go follow it whatever blah 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 check it out let's get into the best experience best experience so this is honestly we we talked about it today for a total of 30 minutes <laughs> 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 and we we decided <laughs> that w today we were going to do the episode on our most favorite experience and we voted on it for, oddly for two messages <laughs> and yeah. um Honestly, we I think we both agree that yeah. this is our all-time favorite experience that we've ever had with a couple. Definitely. It was something that was easy to choose from out of all of them because they were experienced. They yeah. were. I mean, and also it's it's one of our one-night stand stories, but it's our favorite, honestly, even though it is one hour, we always talk down on the one-night stand ones. We don't really necessarily talk down. It's like we would prefer... But we do like to have our one night stands. I yeah. think everybody, every, yeah. swingers. Every, I mean, you just get horny sometimes. You don't <laughs> want to have to meet people. Like, you know, I mean, we still do our validation process and all that. But of course, always safety first. Safety first. 
but we this has got to be our all-time favorite and so let's just get right into it it was probably about a few months ago right um yeah it was a couple months ago a couple months ago um we yeah we met them online like we do most of our couples um we just texted a little bit that day and Uh, who do we mainly talk to the the man right yeah we're talking to the man most of the time the husband sorry and um usually most of the time it's us both of us but like lately we've been so busy it's just one of us and then we fill each other in they're like oh because we we kind of like know each other's tastes and stuff like that and then we're always honest like if i don't like it at the end of the day and he would like talk to them then we don't do yeah, but this Anyways. was one we were, we were just both extremely horny that day. <laughs> yeah, saying how we just really wanted to have a couple that day, so we found one, um, texted them, messaged a little bit, like it usually goes. He was very respectful. He was inter- he was nice to text because he wasn't like <clears throat> super noxious like or most pushy. husbands or pushy. Yeah, exactly. So that was nice and easy and f- fluent. Yeah, <laughs> and you know this was actually one of the ones where their photos did not do them justice remember no, yeah not at all this is what the oh like I, re- I remember the guy looked pretty close to the pictures yeah like <clears throat> but the woman oh my goodness she did not whenever you saw her in person she didn't her pictures did yeah, not I remember do her before justice. you were saying you were like <clears throat> you were saying oh i don't know about her but we'll see when we see her oh yeah exactly it's like you were iffy about her at first yeah i'm like uh, she's probably got a really great personality and it, she'll look she'll be beautiful you know and but whenever we saw her where she was jaw dropping she yeah, was she gorgeous was, and she had but a kid. What, what was yeah yeah for having a kid she was i mean that plays into i like milfs a lot so that played into it <laughs> but oh, yeah. um as soon as i'm not gonna say anything to give her away but of course i remember remember this we were sitting in the car we met in a public place so we we decided oh, yeah. that we were gonna meet at a walmart near our house you know within 15 mile radius yeah um and and, and we <laughs> oh go gosh oh shoot um i'll go I, okay and so i remember we stepped out of the car we were making sure you know sitting there like oh is that their car is that their car had a fucking nice car they had oh a nice car. yeah they really showed us <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> i mean that's even after we had our 2019 nissan so <laughs> yeah they had a really they had, what was it dodge challenger charger i don't know yeah really nice but car either way as soon as she stepped out i will i remember being like holy fuck i've seen this girl before <gasps> i'm not remember oh my god yes we noticed her we recognized her but don't say <coughs> at all from where don't say anything we won't say where but we recognized her and i was like i was like babe we know her or at least seen her before and i didn't get it at first until afterwards he's like oh it's from no, there no i'm not gonna say anything i was just saying your recognition and i was like oh yeah oh yeah i get it now and it was just like it's pretty cool to see well that was the first time we'd ever seen someone that we'd seen before on there yeah that experience was insane to run into somebody that like her pictures didn't do her justice at all she Mm -mm. was gorgeous oh and when she walked out she was in heels she looked good she, yeah they, they dressed to impress we we just got off work both of us so we just <laughs> dressed you know like we got off work sweats <laughs> i was wearing shorts a t-shirt hat oh my god my hair was up in a bun i was wearing my chanclas i, I don't even know it was so we bad we usually never meet couples like that so i don't know why we did that because we honest we thought they were going to be laid back but i guess we should have not yeah, done they came that <laughs> suits and fucking collared shirts and mm-hmm. yeah she came in a full-on dress and i was like okay oh and, and she so, kept those heels on sorry oh ahead. she did did she huh the whole time oh, it was I? great i was anyway <laughs> sorry, so we so brought no. them back to you know our house we talked to them in yeah, the studio we were we were just talking you know doing our normal stories stalling for time sort of swapping getting comfortable yeah you getting know, comfortable getting with each other finding boundaries rural. and honestly sometimes those have gone like one hour to like five four. hours before oh, you were so close we were almost so yeah <laughs> one to like four or five hours before yeah. so so you know we were they get it they get pretty mm, i want to say tension and like aggravating at times so it kind of makes the sex less interesting but the but the thing i'm getting to is that so whenever it takes so long it gets aggravating and then it makes the sex like not as good because it waited so long but what she did was oh wait yeah so we were just talking you know doing our normal thing and it can get pretty long and dull sometimes which ruins the mood sometimes 
And so one of the favorite things, and nobody has ever done this, and one thing we absolutely love love that she did (laughs) was she did this thing Uh where she said, um, all right, uh, can we just have, or what was it? Can we just get to the sex now? And, (laughs) and we love that. That was, that was honestly just incredible. It her blew com- us her away. confidence level was insane. It was amazing. So it was nice to have a woman know what she wants. Yeah. And so then we went to the bedroom, obviously, you know, um, I think you started with her and she loved being pleased. And that was the best thing about her. I just checked my, my wrist for a while <laughs> to see what time it was. Yeah. We have uh, my, another band coming that I'm going to produce for your studio. Yeah. in my stu- with my studio blades from studios. So we're going to fi- hurry up go ahead and um but you started off with her babe right oh yeah i started off with her um he kind of gave us a giveaway in the beginning saying that she was really sensitive nipples and so i kind of just like went for it took advantage of it it took advantage of it and i was crazy it was great so it was nice to have an upper sleeve from him and then for her to also be confident in herself because she was she knew that she was bi and she knew what she wanted and honestly she was very attractive like matched a lot of the boxes that i think like are attractive for women like a mill just like she had um amazing like body and you know she really owned it yeah she she was and she was bossy like (laughs) like that was the first time being with a bossy girl and it was hot it was it was and so like we um and then the experience with the the guy he seemed a little bit overwhelmed yeah a little bit i started off watching at first i remember that i started off watching then enjoined like and she they 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 were amazing at sex i don't know what they else to had, say yeah they they were really experienced and we were really happy she, that I they mean, wanted to do she that she let us them. take control and so like that was fun and then also the oh yeah once we got past all the boundaries and the like okay yeah just go for it you don't need to like once we got past everything like okay we yeah, were comfortable with absolutely everything too, huh? oh my gosh i know that was so much. We, we it was so satisfying. And so then, you know, after that, obviously, they're like, we just, they left. I put on music and everything during it. So I think that always helps the mood, by the way. Yes. Always. Um, but they left. And honestly, we've been wanting to see them ever since. And we really haven't gotten to because every time we text them, we never have time with each other. So. Yeah, we just need to find the time. But we, we hope to see that couple again one day. Definitely. They, they are the great supporters of the podcast actually yeah and honestly they were one of our best experiences best definitely definitely best experience so we hope you guys enjoyed that story i we've sorry this is another short one but i've got to run yeah sorry about that guys but um next week we'll be having a lot more stuff we'll hopefully have questions to answer again Mm -hmm. yes um look out for the instagram stories because i'm going to be posting always questions um if i get a lot of responses on the first question then i'll post another one in that week so we can get a lot more during the episode and you guys get everything you guys want answered all right and this has been another episode of you mean swinging later guys see you go follow us on everything Woo!